Hey everyone, this is my SharePoint questions. Uh, today I just wanted to share with you how I create gradient backgrounds for my Power Apps. Um, there's a few different gradients that work with Power Apps. If you do uh, like my content or subscribe to it, thank you very much. I appreciate it. That keeps me going. I just wanted to show you how I create gradient backgrounds. That We have what's called an HTML, an HTML text. And so I already have one here. In my HTML text one, we have an HTML text. And this is where I put in my div with my gradient. So do you notice here I have a linear gradient at 90 degrees? And I set one color, then I set the second color, and then the third color. Um, Power Apps will allow you to do a little bit of CSS. So I'm gonna put uh, a lot of these gradient calls inside my description of this video. But you can see if I remove one color, you can see that the gradient changes. If I add it back, it's there. So the first thing I do is I write a div style. And so this is some HTML and I give it a padding. And for me, the padding that I need is actually 383 pixels. I'm not sure exactly why, but if I add a little bit more, you can see it's actually gonna, uh, 384 works, but 385, still working for me but at about 390 you can see it adds a scroll bar and so I really don't like that scroll bar so we can keep it at about 385 and when I hit play you can see it makes our app look really neat with the gradient right so we have our gallery on the left side we can select things click new edit we can have our buttons um, the gradient can be a whole background or it can just be your toolbar. So another option is just to make it your toolbar. I did this before. Um, the way you would just make it your toolbar is you would lower the padding down to I think probably about 55 would work. And you can make it a little bit bigger. And you can see now just my toolbar at the top has this gradient color. So that's really a, a neat feature. I haven't seen anyone really do this on Power Apps. Um, but the gradient feature that you can write with CSS is pretty awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and make it the whole background at about 385, just so we can see the different types of gradients that we have. I'll make the height of 775. 780. There we go. Just kind of configure the height to get rid of that scroll bar. So we also have our font size. This is anything you were to write inside your div. So if I were to write right here, you can see that it's actually writing in the HTML text in the background. We could probably add the, uh, I think it's what font color maybe. Font color white. Or maybe just color would work. There we go. So now you can see if I actually move this um, gallery, let me see, let me move that gallery. You can see that I'm actually writing, it's actually a big giant HTML text, and I have it centered with the uh, HTML. So if I were to write in there, I could write something in the background also. But besides that, I can show you some different gradients that I've experimented with Power Apps, and maybe this will help some other people. Um, the box shadow is actually not needed. Uh, it's only needed if you're going to use it as a toolbar. So you can see that the box shadow here adds a little shadow beneath our toolbar. It's kind of nice sometimes. If I remove it, you can see it's just clean. But with the box shadow, it really makes your toolbar pop out as like it's 3D instead of it being just a, a simple line across. So box shadow could be used if you'd like that. So I'm going to show you some other gradients that I have prepared. I have it on a notepad here. So we can get other gradients. I can show you some other colors. And let's just make it uh, the full 380 pixels. in the padding. There we go. So now we have, I guess I would call this Easter colors. Uh, Easter is coming up. We have a purple going to yellow. Uh, you can search your own RGBA colors if you'd like. 
But there's many things you can do with linear gradient. So let's go ahead and try this one out. Let me zoom in too so you guys can see what I'm copying and pasting. So this one's actually using three different gradients. I'm just going to copy this right here. And you can see uh, how you can do different uh, options if you wanted to. You can experiment with this. Uh, searching Google actually helps too. There's different uh, tools you can use that will help you define your own linear gradients. Uh, you can also do almost like a flag. So maybe you wanted to do your flag color, flag colors. Uh, you can do without the, um, I guess the gradient, but just more of a pure color change. Let's see if I can get that one working. Well, now I forgot the linear gradient part. So now you can see that you could get more like a flag color. If you didn't want the gradient color change, you can actually do just you know straight color change as your background. Um, I think people could maybe find a use for this. Um, maybe some type of flag. Um, it almost looks like a parachute or something. That would be a good option also. Now besides just linear gradient, we can also have a repeating gradient. So I wanted to show you this one. So you can also have a repeating gradient, say you wanted, uh, I don't know why someone would use this, but I'm sure someone can figure something out. Maybe it's hypnotizing if you had some app and you, maybe uh, you had a gallery that took up the entire page. Um, let's see if we could do that. Let's say we had a gallery and it took up the entire page and you just wanted the corners to show like that. I mean, that could be a good reason to use the um, repeating gradient. That kind of looks kind of nice. So um, there are different use cases people could use for each of these gradients or else they wouldn't have them. So I don't want to tell you what to do. I just want to give you ideas for your own power app. I'm just going to cover up that button for now. There's another gradient that I've noticed has been working pretty well and that's the radiant, radial gradient. So the radial gradient also works in the CS. And so this is just pretty much CSS skills and not uh, power app skills. This is almost like a solar flare gradient, like you have your center and then it comes out. It's almost like the center is a certain gradient and then it does a radial around it. So let's see if I did like a uh, white. Oh, there you go. You can see it there uh, pretty well. Blue. I'm sure many people could use that. Uh, let's see what it looks like if I uh, change it to 55 padding. So you can see there that that could actually be useful too. We have our nice little box shadow, our buttons here behind a radial gradient. So I just wanted to make a quick video to show you how you could edit the CSS of your Power App. Um, I haven't seen anyone do this besides me really. I don't see many people editing the CSS to make uh, their Power App pop out. Um, normally it's just the functionality, but gradients can be used you have your HTML text part. Just use an HTML text and you can write HTML or CSS and uh, make your Power App stand out. Thank you for watching. I know this was a short one, but it's all up to you. Let's see what you can create. Thank you.